Good morning to all. My name is Dominique Roland. I am the champion for the GRNBA project at EASA. I'm also head of department for policy, innovation and knowledge. And I will guide you through the iConspicuity roadmap. So first of all, some data collected during 2000, between 2009 and 2019. Uh, we can see that uh, we have a number of airborne collision and uh, fatalities related to the collision all over the disuse and, and the trend is rather negative. So we had 60 fatal collision, six per year, 137 fatalities, 13 per year, all happening in uncontrolled traffic with all with small, small aircraft, uh, including many, many rotorcraft. Problems identified are ineffective sharing of traffic information between traffic, congestion of uncontrolled traffic, drones operation developing, and airspace inefficiencies. So we see two, 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 two big elements here that could help to, to, to resolve the problem, iconspicuity and airspace. And the key solution is between the two. I forgot to mention, we need to have a constant interface with U-space development. So let's start with the definition of U-space. U-space is a set of new services and specific procedures designed to support safe, efficient and secure access to airspace for large numbers of drones without airspace segregation for the sole use of drones. What is eye conspicuity? Uh, with this word eye conspicuity, we try to define an in-flight capability to transmit position and or to receive, process and display information about other aircraft, airspace or weather in the real time with the objective to enhance pilots' situational awareness. <clears throat> Let's start with the roadmap and the step one. Brief description of the requirement from CERA 6005C. The rule says, manned aircraft operating in airspace designated by the competent authority as use space airspace and not provided with an air traffic control service by the ANSP shall continuously make themselves electronically conspicuous to the use space service providers. Step two will build on step one and beyond uh, the constraint imposed by the requirement from CERA for the use space. We want to expand the functionalities and address the GA conspicuity issue more broadly, more generally, including the possibility to use the information broadcasted by the GA traffic for flight information service. The next presentation will build up, elaborate on step, step one. Thank you for your attention.